what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The Louis Vuitton and Apple Store in Portland, Oregon was hit. Hijacked. Burglarized. Vandalized robbed of a whole lot of items. This is the residual effect of protesting. This is what they would call, I guess, collateral damage. It goes with the territory. A lot of people are outraged about the looting. I mean, some people are like really, really outraged those people, many of them, are the same people who is not as outraged about the killing of George Floyd, which is why people are out here protesting in the first place. The looting, the vandalizing, is one of those things that sometimes go along with protesting, but especially when someone is protesting a grave injustice. The cold-blooded murder of a human being by the police. These type of things are expected. But it really trips me out how some people are just besides themselves and they can just watch the video of people looting and it just infuriates them. I mean, like it really pisses them off unlike it did watching the actual video of a man losing his life. That didn't somehow touch them the way that the looting does, the vandalism does. Why is that? I want to talk directly to those of you who take that stance. Those of you who are very emotional about the looting, the vandalism, but you didn't meet that same energy when you saw George Floyd murdered. It's something wrong with you. I don't know where it happened at, but along the way, you lost your way. You're not really 100% human. It's something off. Perhaps you should see a therapist, visit a mental institution, and check in, you know, for a few weeks, perhaps a few months. I bet you the same one that gets really upset when an animal gets hurt. If you see a homeless animal, and you give the homeless animal something to eat before you give the homeless human being something to eat. All of you have the same type of mentality. You are what's wrong with America. And let me get back to the looting and the vandalism. I could care less about any of those stores. I could care less if they burn the whole mall down. I could care less what I would care about is them being more strategic about how they're going to protest, what it is that they want and how to get what they want. Because that's ultimately the, the goal here is to get what you want, get what you want out of the situation. If at the end of the day, all you did was burn things and vandalize you know, the insurance is going to pay for all of that stuff. And if the injustice continues, then what have you really gained? Now, that statement is in no way advocating against the protesters. I'm with the protesters. This is how you exercise your First Amendment right the freedom of speech. Protesting is part of that. 
Some of you are going to be quick to say, well, you know, vandalism isn't, and you know, and looting, that's not part of it. I told you at the gate, from the beginning, vandalism and the looting is a byproduct of protesting. If they don't want the looting, the vandalism, they could easily avoid that by not violating people's rights and punishing dirty cops. You wouldn't even have the protesting. People got better things to do. I mean, a few of the craziest day ain't got nothing to do, but you know, most people got better things to do. They don't want to be out there protesting. They don't want to be risking their lives. People got better things to do. It's important to note that most of the protesters were protesting peacefully and constructively. I want to send a big shout out to the police officers in Atlanta who was at the protest that allowed the protesters to do their thing unimpeded. One of those cops in particular, you know who I'm talking about if you watch the video, he told an officer who was trying to quiet the crowd, make them move around, to shut the F up. Oh yeah. So shout out to him and all of those officers who have been weighing in on this discussion, this police brutality and officers stretching their authority with impunity. I've seen a lot of your videos. I appreciate it because that's what it's gonna take. We don't see those type of videos from you guys. Every now and then you might see a video, but I've seen a plethora of them since this George Floyd case has been developing. Y'all, y'all stepping up. You're stepping up. I appreciate it. We see you. We see you. Now, as far as those people out there that are taking advantage of the protest by vandalizing and looting, I want to shake my head in a negative manner. But every time I want to do that, something else inside me says, get them guys. And I don't know how to stop it. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.